Hey everyone, Kevin McCann here, and in today's video, we're going to cover what happens when you finally get the first meeting scheduled with a brand new prospect that you've been targeting for days, weeks, or even months, and you really don't want to screw it up. So now what do you do to prepare? Well, you watch this video. So let's get started. So I've been working with a client recently and he's been successful at scheduling meetings but nothing's really happening after these meetings are done. Turns out he's not generating very many proposals and he's stuck as to what's been going wrong. So I reviewed a few of his meeting recordings and quickly saw his issue. He has no structure or process going into the call. Now don't get me wrong, he's doing some research on the prospect but he really has no preparation strategy for how he wants these discovery calls to go. Also, he has no clear outcome that he's looking to achieve, so as a result, he's all over the map and can even lead some of these conversations right down into a rabbit hole and leaving the prospect confused. So the question is, is how do you run a discovery meeting that will provide value to your prospect and you get everything out of that call or that meeting that you need to in order to kick your sales opportunity into action? answer is that you use this four-step sales discovery call framework to guide all of your initial conversations with new prospects to determine two key things one if they're actually experiencing a problem or a pain that you can solve and two if they're a qualified opportunity that you want to continue working with so in this video i'm going to give you a high level overview of the four-step sales discovery call mastery framework that you can use for every one of your first calls or meetings with your ideal prospects so before I show you the slide overview, let me give you the backstory of how I came up with this framework. In the late 90s, I had just been recruited to go to work for Cisco Systems, the 800 pound gorilla in the computer networking industry. And when I got there, I was blown away by all the marketing and sales tools that they made available to me as a sales rep. They had hundreds of presentations, tons of corporate overviews, basically anything I, I needed for every single one of their thousands of products that they sold. But the problem was, that every one of these slide decks began with slides about Cisco, the company, the number of employees, um, how they were number one or number two in every market that they entered, and generally how great they were. Then the slides went into detail on every single one of the features of each product in excruciating detail. Then the slides would show case studies and examples of how great these products were and what they could do for the companies that bought them. All of this was great information. However, as I kept going through these slides, I was like, Where's the customer in all of this? Where in this presentation do we start diagnosing the pains or identifying the goals of our customer? These presentations were all what I would call show up and throw up presentations. So I decided to change up the slides to make them more about the customer and then that led me to this four step framework I'm about to teach you. So as you can see on the slide here, the first step is the current state. Where is your prospect today? What are they experiencing? What's going on in their world? What's going on in their business? What are some of the challenges that they're currently experiencing? And how do they communicate them? So you wanna understand what the current present moment looks like for the customer. The second thing you wanna figure out is where do they wanna be? What's their future pace look like? Where's their top of the mountain? Or what would their world be like if they got over this hurdle or over this challenge that they're currently experiencing? That's the second step. And then the third step is how will it happen? How will they get there? Because you wanna get a, a sense for what was their plan to get to that top of the mountain if you weren't gonna be um, having this conversation today. So uh, we'll dig into some of the questions in, in upcoming videos, but you really wanna get a sense for, hey, if we weren't having this conversation today, what was your intention? How are you gonna get to the top of the mountain, overcome this challenge, this hurdle, etc.? So that's step three. So then that will lead to step four, which is the engagement proposal or the offer that you're offering this prospect and the next steps for them to get started working with you. In this section, this is where you're gonna go into, here's how we can help you, here's the services or the products we have to help you achieve those goals or overcome those challenges. So that's the framework that you wanna use for every new discovery conversation that you have to keep you on track and understand where the customer is, where they wanna be, how they intended to get there, and then you go into how I can help you achieve these goals or these challenges that you're looking to uncover. So in the next videos, I'm gonna go a little deeper into each one of these four steps and actually unpack the types of questions to ask along with what to listen for along the way. Now I've also put together a cheat sheet that you can keep in front of you 
and refer to when making your calls. So if you like this video and you want more revenue growth mastery in your life, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video and also click the little bell so that you'll be notified when I've got more goodies to share with you. And last but not least, I would love to hear from you in the comments below this video. What challenges are you dealing with in your meetings? Whether it's getting more meetings or what to say in the meeting or what to do after the meeting, just let me know where you're struggling and I'll provide more insights on what you can do to get past those current hurdles and those roadblocks. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.